Welcome to the CBio Portal tutorial series brought to you by the Genomic Education Team at the Jackson Laboratory. This short video demonstrates how to search for a gene of interest on the CBio Portal database. Using the CBio Portal, it is possible to search for a specific gene within a study or within a group of studies. Because the studies that are housed on the CBio Portal include genomic data, and often report gene variants, it is possible to find the studies or specific patients who have variants, amplifications, or deletions in a gene of interest. To do this, we will use the Query by Gene button at the bottom of the page. You can select a study from the center panel, which lists the studies group by tissue type. Let's say we want to explore the BRCA1 gene in a specific branch breast cancer study. Use the left menu to locate breast and select this category to filter the center panel to only breast cancer studies. If we wanted to explore this top study from cancer cell in 2018 that includes 1,918 samples, you can select this study and then hit the Query by Gene button. This will load the browser with new fields. You can choose the type of alteration that you are specifically looking for, including mutations, structural variants, or copy number alterations. Or you can just leave all the boxes checked to see all of the variants in the gene. Then you must type the gene name in the box labeled enter genes. You can simply enter the gene symbol in this box. It is important that you know the gene symbol for the gene of interest. The system will only recognize accepted symbols. So I will type BRCA1 in this box. And then a green box will appear below indicating that the symbols I entered are valid. Had I mistyped the gene symbol, the box would appear red, indicating an error. Then hit the Submit Query button. This then loads the results, which includes a list of variants found in the BRCA1 gene within this one study that we selected, which includes 1,756 patients and 1,918 samples. There are a few tabs running along the top. Each of these tabs will go into detail about a certain type of data. We will focus on three, the Oncoprint, the Cancer Type Summary, and the Mutations tabs. Starting with the Oncoprint tab, which is the first one, this displays a list of different variants found in the BRCA1 genes in the samples in this study you can see that they are color-coded as shown here and each color represents a different type of variant. There are mis missense mutations, amplifications, deep deletions, and truncating mutations. Each of these bars in the Oncoprint represents a patient and their samples. If you hover over the bar, this box will appear and you will see the patient ID number. If you click on this patient ID number, you can find more information about this patient. If we click the Cancer Type Summary tab, this will show you the types of cancer in which BRCA1 variants were found. In this example, it only includes breast cancer because we specifically selected a breast cancer study. However, if you had selected a pan cancer study with multiple cancer types, you would see those displayed here. We will come back to that. If you click on the mutations tab, this is going to show you a diagram of the BRCA1 gene representing the amino acids from zero to 1,863 for the BRCA1 protein. And then there are these lollipops. 
Each of these lollipops indicates a variant found in this study. If you were to click on one, such as this one, this is an amino acid change, C197Y. This is a missense mutation, changing a cysteine, or a C, to a tyrosine amino acid. Also, when you click on the lollipop, it will show you the patient who had this BRCA1 variant in their breast tumor. If you click on this patient ID number, you can find for more information about this patient. If you don't select a specific lollipop, you can scroll through the entire set of patients who have BRCA1 variants. You can sort through this list, such as looking at the different protein changes or mutation types, and you can sort that by clicking on these headings. So if you click mutation type, you see all the frame shifts here, and then this sense. If you click protein change, you can see the different protein changes listed in this column. Let's go back to the main CBIO portal page by clicking this icon at the top. This time, let's look at a pan cancer study. Pan cancer studies include samples of different cancer types. There's a list of pan cancer studies at the top of the center panel, or you can use the quick select. I'm going to pick the TCGA pan cancer atlas studies which include 32 individual studies and 10,967 samples. Then I'm again going to hit Query by Gene. Once the new fields load, I will enter BRCA1 into the Enter Genes box and hit Submit Query. This time, the landing page is going to be the Cancer Type Summary tab. We can see here there is a list of cancer studies by cancer type that include BRCA1 variants. You can see here that the type of cancer with the most BRCA1 variants is uterine or endometrial cancer. We then see B-cell lymphoma and then cutaneous melanoma. You can hover over the bars of the graph to indicate the frequency of the different types of variants. And again, these variants are labeled by color, which also indicates the frequency of that specific type of variant. In this bar, we can see 8.88% are mutations and 0.38 represented in red are amplifications for BRCA1. If you are interested in a specific cancer type, you can also click this query this study for BRCA1 that you find in each box as you hover over the bars. The other tabs contain similar information that we went over for the single study, but look at this mutation diagram. Notice the number of lollipops. There are so many, and this is due to the increased sample size included in a pan cancer study. Thank you for listening. To learn more about the CBIO portal and its features, continue to watch videos in this tutorial series. For other resources from Jack's Genomic Education, find us on our website.